All right, it's been 10 minutes. Let's see if anything happened. <gasps> It's funny, and I think my new uh, thing should be like a different backdrop for every video. I was kind of in a purple mood today. I'm, I'm like in a creepy mood. Can we get a Halloween countdown, please? How many days is it my soul craves pumpkins? Also, I don't know like headband etiquette. Am I supposed to have ears out? or ears in. All right, you guys, today we have a video that encompasses all of the things we love. We have in fact a, does this thing really work? Mashup with a, this is a scam. I feel like we've been doing scams and flim flams since last year, I think. Oh my God, no. 2020 was a whole year that passed. So take it all the way back to 2019. I tried that whitening toothpaste that was going viral, much in the same way that this product has been going viral. Have you guys seen green mask stick? I swear this thing is everywhere. The first time I saw it, it was a YouTube ad. And I couldn't tell you guys what my eyes were confronted with. I don't think I've ever seen a scammier or more photoshopped ad. This mask, okay, they literally rub onto people's faces and then they're like, oh yeah, wait 10 minutes. And then I swear they show like seeds erupting from the person's face. And then they take a washcloth, they wipe away the seeds and there is a photoshopped patch of skin. A photoshopped patch of skin. And I see these same videos being reposted everywhere, Instagram, tons on TikTok. That is what we are gonna be taking a look at today, green mask stick. Now, this one I got off of Amazon. They had it on Amazon Prime. And there are so many green mask sticks on the market. They all have the same logo and the same font up here. But then you'll see there's like a bunch of different brands. I swear they're being even sneakier with some of these ads because I think it was in the YouTube ad and I'm really hoping that I can find this exact same ad again that I saw because I swear in some of the videos they're not even applying this mask whatever it is at all they're applying the milk makeup mask milk offers an extremely similar product hey it's editing me from the future and i just now realized as i was editing this video i was comparing these two products but i didn't really say like what each product was supposed to do the milk makeup mask is actually called the matcha detoxifying face mask i never quite know the distinct difference between green tea and matcha, but I know that there is a difference there. It is supposed to be detoxifying. It's also supposed to help control oil, balance skin, and calm redness for a fresh complexion. And this one is $26. Now, uh, the fake green stick is $10 on Amazon. And it's so weird because even after I bought this listing, it's like the brand has switched again. Now they say the brand of this is is supposed to be vinyl etchings, which what does that even mean? It is supposed to be a green tea purifying clay stick mask. They also say that it's supposed to moisturize and control oil, which that sort of seems like a dichotomy of desires right there. Deep clean pore improves skin for all skin types. Also upon closer inspection, I think I said or I say somewhere in this video that I thought that they were doing like an ultimate switcheroo in the YouTube ad that I saw for this product. If you zoom in to that picture, which by the way, the store, the particular store that was like selling this exact green stick mask on a YouTube ad, now that channel like doesn't have any videos. Who knows what is going on with this stuff? Like that's why I so heavily always lean into calling this stuff a scam because I feel like if you're just like putting up marketing and taking it down, real brands don't do that. You know, like Milk Makeup, I'm pretty sure they've been making this matcha skin stick mask for like three or four years now. I thought in the YouTube ad I saw, I thought I saw them actually using this milk makeup product because if you zoom in on the picture I saw like almost an LK looking design on the packaging but I think that that's another one of these green stick face masks really similar to all of these but it's yet 
another brand with like very similar yet different wording on the packaging. Hopefully anything I'm saying right now is making any sense. Basically that's just like a further step of like deeper weirdness, right? Because they're still advertising supposedly this packaging that looks like this. But when you zoom in, you see that in that video, they're not even always using this product in this packaging. So like what's going on there? In the past couple of years, I feel like there has been harsher crackdown of just completely copying these exact products. I feel like the more that there's been documentaries and just more people talking about the problems within the fake makeup community and how dangerous it can be, it's like these companies still want to produce these fake makeup products, but they're just kind of finding a loophole is basically what I'm trying to say, where they're not making like an exact carbon copy and pretending that this is the milk makeup stick. They just want to convince you that they have this like magical product that looks really similar to the packaging, but they've stamped their own brand on it so that like milk can't sue them. And like now when I'm browsing Wish and AliExpress a lot, which is where I pretty much find all of my fake makeup when I like to do those videos with you guys where we do like the deep dive side by side comparison. A lot of times what you'll see now is they will take the exact look of the packaging. Like one I've seen of late is the child palette, the Baby Yoda Mandalorian themed palette that ColourPop came out with. And if you open the palette on the inside, it'll look like the same like nine pan color layout. All the shadows will be named the same. The packaging will look identical even on the top, like the exterior of the palette. But then if you look very closely, the real palette obviously says ColourPop and the fake palette I've seen this brand that I think I've seen like a lot of fake mo uh, fake makeup products called called like Guicami or something. I'm probably not saying that correctly. And so that's just like another way that they are attempting to scam because they can say, well, we're not knocking off a ColourPop palette. This is just our own. Obviously they don't have the rights though to do like licensing with Disney. So it's a whole mess. It's a whole mess. Anyway, back to the rest of the, uh, to the video there. Huh. I thought it would be fun to do a comparison of what these two masks look like. So I'll go ahead and unbox the milk one. This is a milk matcha detoxifying face mask. It sounds like the instructions are roughly the same. You just apply this to your face, wait five to 10 minutes, and then, you know, wash it off, wipe it off with a wet cloth or whatever. They say that this product is good for nine months. I've definitely had mine longer than nine months, so it's looking a little crusty and dusty, but I think it'll still get us through today's video. And then this, let's go ahead and remove the plastic wrap. This reminds me so much of the fake makeup that I buy. You guys know I love to make those videos where I buy a bunch of products off of Wish. Then I do a side-by-side -side comparison of them. This one, oddly enough, they say is good for three years. Oh, that's what I'm saying. These kind of like fake, makeup items, they always are just like kind of weird. They just feel kind of like dusty and uncertified. And I mean, I know that there is a brand stamped on here, but this is fake. What is this factory? Do you know what I'm saying? Like I would have to imagine it's probably under the same lack of quality control as fake makeup is. Now that's just my opinion. See the packaging though is identical to the milk makeup sticks. We even have this like little protective dome thing here. It kind of smells refreshingly like green tea. I'm shocked. Normally these products smell really, really bad. I always love to have a look at Google Translate. Let me go ahead and put you on Translate Cam. And we're gonna use the camera function contains green ingredients. I think that that's okay. So it is supposed to be a green tea oil control cleansing stick. Hey, I was able to pause for a minute. Contains green tea ingredients, fresh and natural, softens and clears old dead skin cells. Ooh, that was kind of fascinating. Okay. I have arms, very damp and honestly a little bit more than damp. This elbow is quite drippy. 
sides, we're going to do a side by side comparison of these two products on the arms because I don't trust green mask stick. I don't trust it. And I'm willing to sacrifice an arm to the cause, but not a cheek or a forehead or anything like that. I feel like I need these. They're not organs. What is this? Hunks of flesh? I don't know. I like, you know, neck up. Let's just try and preserve that. I'm gonna do the real product on the right arm and the fake product on the left arm. Both of them seem to have very similar instructions. They say you can apply them to damp or dry skin and leave them on for five to ten minutes. And I'm trying to just get, you know, a good amount here. Let's just paint the arm green. So they say that this mask, you know, kind of goes on this light green color and then get a little bit darker as it dries. So uh, comparatively, let's see. Oh, that's odd. That's like, first of all, it has like a little bit of an odd cooling sensation. I shouldn't be putting this on my tattoo because honestly, as horrendously badly done as this tattoo is right here, I still like it. Even though everyone literally thinks that this says all kinds of words and phrases, it doesn't say. So go ahead and guess. What does my tattoo say? So yeah, this one really does not have much green pigmentation to it at all. And honestly, neither of them really want to crank up that well. I'm honestly not a huge fan of this like deodorant stick packaging unless it is deodorant for my armpits. That's just a personal thought that I have. So I thought that this one was super not green, but in comparison, this just doesn't even look. It looks like nothing. And that one looks as green as the Grinch. So I'm gonna take these iPhone clips so that you guys can see what's going on. Got a real arm, oh boy. Zoom in on that real arm. And um, this is my fake arm. It's really hard to twist my arm in this way. Wow, so fake. I have set a stopwatch. I realize that's like an important thing I should do. It feels like there's something here, maybe like a little bit of a tingling or something. My skin is so, so sensitive. And I swear the more ancient that I become, the more sensitive that my skin becomes. Like I'm starting to realize, like am I all of a sudden allergic to spaghetti sauce? Because every time I eat like spaghetti sauce, like, well, like not just, I'm not just sitting at home, like, you know, cranking a spoon of spaghetti sauce into my mouth. But like, you know, if I eat like pasta or a calzone or a pizza, like red rash all around my mouth, it's horrific. It's so frightening. And then it like calms down and it's fine. But like that never used to happen to me before. And so, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how this is all going to pan out. This feels like nothing. Like I can feel this like slowly drying on my arm, like as if I was at the Renaissance Festival and you were making those like, you know, those wax hands of romance. You join, you clasp palms with your partner and you like dunk it into the wax and you feel the wax drying. I can feel something happening over here in real town, but in fake town, I feel nothing. I smell really good over here. It's like this product is like loaded with fragrance. Surprisingly good smelling green, green, green tree, green tree fragrance. Tea grows on a tree, right? Or is it a bush? A little bit smaller than a tree. I don't have enough tree knowledge. It's kind of like watching paint dry. I mean, I don't feel a burning over here, which is good because I started watching a lot of spooky TikToks and they're like, don't buy it. Your face, your skin will just burn. And I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not having that. I'm not having anything. I don't notice any redness. How many minutes? It's been like about three or four minutes, I guess, because I forgot to put the timer on for two minutes. Like as soon as I smeared this all over my arm, I regretted it because it is like, in essence, like fake makeup. Do you know what I'm saying? Like milk makeup and other cosmetics like this, like they go through like rigorous lab testing so that like the ingredients that they say are contained in the product are actually contained in the product. They have to certify that their products are what, you know, like I'm, I'm just telling, I'm doing a really bad job of explaining this. I'm sure you guys know what I mean. They could sit there and say, oh yeah, it's got green tea and fresh water drained from the French Alps, but no one is certifying that, you know? There have been so many interesting documentaries and studies done on fake makeup. And so that's why I just don't trust any of this like fake kind of makeup or skincare products because a lot of it, they like they take and they do lab samples of it and it has like, literal rat pee inside of it. So I just don't recommend 
buying viral kinds of like toothpastes and other products that you're seeing. I mean, I'm not trying to sit here and say this has rat pee in it. I don't know what it has in it. You know, it's like, it's a mystery. <laughs> I guess you can take for granted like what they're saying on there. I don't know. I just usually advise you guys to not buy cosmetics, even if they look like name brand. Don't buy them from Wish. Don't buy them from AliExpress or places like that because I don't think I've ever gotten a makeup product from Wish or anything else that was like actually real. And I will link my other videos to you guys down below just in case you're curious in all of this stuff and you want to dive a little bit deeper. I've done several videos now where I do like side by side comparison and a a lot of times these fake products are so sneaky it's like you almost have to have the real product in front of your face as well to like see what the difference is between like a slight little period or a slight little like color will be off by like one little pantone shade it's wild it's very fascinating but it's not good but just in case you're curious i will put the side by side ingredients up here like the real ingredients versus like what is supposed to be in this product and it has been seven minutes so far you got so actually like eight minutes and i'm honestly you know i'm disappointed where are the chia seeds why is it not there's no seeds erupting off of my arm. It looks the same, okay? And I mean, that is the thing with these products, right? Is like, even if it's not a harmful product, I think when you're showing your product to that degree of like scammery, where you make people think that, oh, if you have enlarged pores or acne or whatever else, and you get this magical $10 stick and rub it on your face once, wow, you've got a whole like smooth Photoshop face. Like I just feel like that in itself is dishonest and scammy enough that really makes me like lean into this product is obviously a scam. Even when you get like professional extractions done and they actually try and get all the impurities and the blackheads and stuff out of your skin, like you're not just gonna like, they're not gonna get like 500 blackheads out of your face at once. At least, I mean, at least I've never seen that. And so I feel like just the expectations they set up that you can get from the product is ridiculous. Really quick before I wipe it off, I'm gonna do an up close clip of each of them. I think that the milk mask changed in color just a little bit. I think it got just a little bit darker. This literally looks like it did not do anything. Like there was no transformation. I have a nice damp washcloth here. And let's just see how easy that is to remove. So I'm barely applying any pressure to the real side and it wipes right off. I don't see any redness or anything other than like literally just the fact that I'm rubbing and touching my arm. There we go. Okay, and it wipes off just as easily, which is really interesting because um, I did see some people on TikTok uh, struggling to remove it as well. Now let me just feel the arms. So this one feels really nice. This side of my arm is like really smooth. I don't know how smooth my arms normally are. I don't really feel any immediate change or difference. As you guys can see, I have the real milk mask on just like one half of my face. I just thought it would be helpful for this video to just see like half and half. Like what does my face look like with one half that I haven't put any product on it at all today versus this half that I'm testing the face mask on. Are we gonna be able to see any immediate difference at all or not? I also filmed some raw clips of what my face looks like on the iPhone as well because my real camera is very generous with how my face looks. Now, I don't really expect any immediate amazing transformation between the left and the right side of my face. You guys probably know if you've watched any of my previous like masking and skincare videos prior to this one, there is no miracle product in my opinion on the market. Now there are a lot of face masks that I use consistently, but you have to consistently use the product. I don't think that there's any, or at least nothing I've tried on the market that you put it on and then whoa, you wipe it off and your face looks completely different. Like I feel like any product that's advertising that it's kind of like scammy. Now, I know some products do advertise like immediate like lifting and tightening. And sometimes that's just like an effect that lasts for like 
short periods at a time. Like I know a lot of masks are advertised like, oh, if you're gonna have a special date or a special occasion, special night out, like put this on and woo, like you get some temporary boost, like a temporary glow boost or something, but nothing where like if you have severe acne going on that you're gonna put a product on your face and wipe it off and your skin is gonna be super smooth. I kind of hate when companies advertise like that. I feel like it's really, really misleading. They're just hoping to make the sales. All right, it's been 10 minutes. Let's see if anything happened. <gasps> Oh my God, my acting is so bad. I don't think I'm winning an Oscar anytime soon. So uh, the mask has been on realistically for 10 minutes. I did just plop some chia seeds on my face for dramatic effect. I thought it would be fun to make my corny little intro. I'm really trying to replicate the whole experience. You know, I don't think the addition of chia seeds on top of the mask could really affect the performance of the actual real mask. But just in case it does, like we have the whole forehead section here, which is also dried. So I will wipe that off first. So we can see, you know what did I do? Well, now that I stuck the chia seeds on my face, it's kind of pointless, but I'm sure you guys can see, we got the same like slight color change of the green product. So I'll go ahead and wipe this off first. I am glad it's so easy to remove. Now I feel oddly enough, like where the chia seeds are, I feel like some itchy irritation going on there. I mean, I feel like it's just bad to probably like, well, you know what? I don't want to say that because I know a lot of people do like the masks where they put like celery or like, I don't know, like other, or, or there's like yes to tomatoes, yes to carrots, like yes to every like fruit and vegetable. So I won't say obviously it's bad to put like food on your face. I think I just have a problem with it for whatever reason. Like ever since I was a baby, literally, if I would get food on my face of any kind, and I'm not actually like allergic to the food, like eating it. But if I ever got food on my face, my face would get like so red, it would like blister. So I try and stay away from like food ingredients in my skincare. So here is what my face looks like on this camera. Like I said, I'm sure it's a little bit red because when I put anything on my face, it turns red and I did just rub it vigorously with a washcloth, but I don't know. Now, let me do the iPhone clip. I don't know. I mean, I don't see, I don't see anything like drastic enough that I'm like, oh yeah, wow. Um, now I'm sure if I continue to use the product over time, I'm sure that it would give me some benefits. And I don't even know, like, what is it supposed to do? Detox, ooh, detox in a flash. Solid clay mask stick controls oil, balances skin, and calms redness for a fresh complexion. So that is the promises that the real mask gives us. My opinion is you're just always better buying, you know, I hate to say like a name brand. I mean, obviously this is a $26 face mask. That's not within everybody's price range, but I'm sure if you do some research online, find some other kind of product on Amazon, you can get like a clean, trustworthy brand let's just say. I mean, I feel like there's so many brands right now um, tackling not just makeup, but skincare. Like I think like Wet n Wild and Elf, I think that they have um, some skincare options. NYX, I feel like, has really gotten more into some skincare options this year. Physicians Formula, I think, doesn't just make makeup anymore. I think they also have some skincare items. So I feel like you don't necessarily have to, you know, hit prestige pricing to get a really good trustworthy product that's not gonna try and entice you with this scammy advertising. That's all that I'm trying to say. I hate seeing like young people commenting. God, I sound so old. I hate to see the youth commenting, but I just hate to see people being like, oh my God, I'm gonna ask my mom for this, you know, because I feel like they want the product because they think, oh, I've got acne or something. And I can just rub this on and oh, 
all my problems will be cured. And skincare is not that simple. A lot of times it's like what we put in is like what comes out. And I shouldn't even be saying that because what I put in is coffee and chili cheese fries. But you know, drink lots of water, use sunscreen, all of those kinds of things are just gonna really help your skincare stuff that's going on. Anyway, that is enough from me today. So I would love to know you guys' thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Have you guys ever been tempted to test a product out like this? Did you get this product and you had positive experiences with it? Maybe I'm being too harsh on it. I don't know. I feel like there's always like mixed opinions sometimes in the comments. I personally would not feel comfortable putting that on my face and I don't, I don't like the scammy ads. Anyway, Anyway, now I'm repeating myself, but I'd love to know all of you guys' thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Thank you all so, so much for being here today, for hanging out, and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member, become a member of the Swamp family, and give an alligator its wings. I love you guys so, so much, and I will be back again very, very soon. Bye!